Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, ready to do my first impressions on the Concept Knives Pelican EDC here. Now, um, I put the unboxing up a couple days ago, I think, and I've had it for a couple more days than that. I just had a lot of unboxings at the same time, and I kind of posted them, um, you know, a day apart or so, so I didn't just you know, bombard you guys with unboxing. So I've had this knife for like four or five days. So uh, I think that's enough to give first impressions considering I think I've carried this almost every day since I got it. There might have been one day where I didn't carry it and I've carried it in my front pocket. Uh, it's just been the most comfortable way to carry it with the thumb studs. I don't worry about it being right hand only. Um, and uh, spoiler alert, I really love this thing so far um, to the point where I'm, you know, aggressively like recommending it to other people already. Um, and I've reached out the concept to see if they would, you know, consider doing a lefty version of this because um, I'm in a Facebook group, EDC for lefties and concept has a contact there. Charles, a great dude. And, um, they've had some kind of votes and stuff for what left, what concept knives we, you know, they would want to be left-handed. And I joined the group after that happened, but, um, you know, I think they're continuing to kind of listen to the group and try to do lefty versions of ones that people want. They're not just doing a bunch of lefty versions, but, you know, they're at least trying to figure out, um you know, kind of crowdsourcing to see what would be the best models. And I don't know if this was out at the time, but if it was, this is like the one concept knife that I really would like to see in a lefty version. Uh, this and the, I think the Gremlin, but I've never had one of their flippers before. I've heard varying things about the detents on their flippers. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how great they are, um, but I still want to try one out. I do have my LaCroix here, key lime flavor. Uh, and to start with on this knife, the thing that drew me in originally is the design. Um, I actually had another knife in recently from this designer, K Maxron. Um, you can see here it says K Maxron design. I don't know how well you're going to see that. Um, but I had the Fox Pelican, which was a loner from Jake, uh, over at Bearded Gear, and it's a larger knife with a similar sort of shape in terms of, it, it kind of looks like a bird right here, looks like a pelican, you know, the eyes here, and then the beak coming out to here, um, but it was G10, it was a liner lock, it was much bigger, um, it was N690, I believe, and it was made by Fox. This is made by Concept out of China. It's a little bit smaller. This is a three-inch blade. Um, so they're definitely different, but they have a similar kind of shape. And I honestly didn't like that Fox Pelican at all. Um, I wasn't a fan of the look of the design. It was a little too much of a hump here. Um, and then it just was a little heavy... Um, it wasn't that comfortable. The clip was terrible. Um, just N690 for $200 plus was crazy. Um, this goes for, I think, around $170, uh, which, you know, you're getting a full titanium frame lock here with some anodization on the uh, milled clip. You're getting S35VN, so, I mean, the steel could be better. Uh, but so far from my usage with um, Concept Knives, they're... S35 holds up very well, um, and I'm fine with that if it's a design I really like. Now, if this was N690, yeah, then I would expect it to be 50 bucks less or something like that, you know? Um, but yeah, so I really like the design. My favorite part about it is this uh, Poon Spoon here. Um, it's just, it's like a reverse forward finger choil to me. I, it's hard for me to explain what I'm saying, but... When you go and er, just ergonomically, your index finger fits here and then the rest fits in this swell, at least for my large glove size hand. 
and it just is so comfortable and then your thumb goes into the poon spoon and it's just it's just unbelievably comfortable and ergonomic um i've never felt a knife like this before and that's really one of the main reasons that i love this thing it's it's just it's as comfortable as a Voxnes design i said that in my unboxing i think um you know i have a few of his knives um, here's the f5.5 from urban edc supply you have the finger choil up here and then you know you have this spot here for your middle finger and then your last two fingers kind of rest back here and it's just unbelievably locked in and comfortable and when you're back here it's okay it's still comfortable it's not perfect but up here where you're supposed to be it's just phenomenal um and this this pelican is the closest thing to comfortability i've felt uh you know to a vox it's almost more comfortable um than that f5.5 so um i really give this thing high marks for ergonomics and that has kind of carried it for me and i love the design i love the size and the form factor you know it's not overly thick it's not overly long but it has a decent blade stock um it has a very good tip robust tip it's not you know dainty in any way uh, it has a good blade shape with this kind of full belly. It's, I mean, it's a little bit flat right here, and then it's just belly, belly, belly. Uh, you have a flat grind going almost all the way down. Uh, it's just extremely uh, good looking, and it lends itself to being a good in-pocket and uh, a good cutter and everything. Um, and then there's the action. So... The closing action on this, and this is out of the box, so I didn't, um, I didn't tune this. I didn't put KPL in it like I do sometimes. I've just been letting this one go as is, and it was this good out of the box. I mean, it's incredible. Um, it takes barely a shake to get it to close, and right-handed even, you know, you could get this thing to swing almost all the way. Um, and then the opening action... It just really cracks out there, uh, has good sounds. So you will hear there is a, a little bit of lock stick. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain here. You can hear it. So I guess it's more noticeable left-handed. Do you hear that at all? So it has a little kind of click, but it's not like a hindrance. So it's not like it's hard to push over. It glides right over. It just happens to kind of make a sound. I don't know. It's very strange. So I, it's almost like I don't even consider it lockstick. Um, it's just a kind of click when you go to uh, disengage it. So it's just kind of interesting Something to note, though, but it's definitely not an issue. Um, and this thing in person sounds amazing when you crack it open. Um, and, it, you know, the detent is dialed in perfectly. If I go to the brake, it just shoots right out. Um, and usually you're going to give it more than that, and it flies. So uh, really good action on this. Closing action is phenomenal, like I said. Um, and again, it carries very well. I really like this clip. It's just an interesting design where it kind of gets shifted over and then swoops down. Uh, really cool. I actually compared this on uh, my Instagram the other day to the Satori 2.0, which is another really cool knife that I love. Um, it just has similar lines to me. Uh, I don't know if you guys see that. Maybe it's because it's this kind of titanium color with anode uh, hardware. But I think they look alike. And if you look at the clips, they're sort of similar as well. I don't know. I just think it's an interesting comparison. Obviously, one is like 180 bucks, and the other one is, you know, 640 new. Um, that's not what I paid or anything, but... I mean, even open, they have similar shapes. 
So, I don't know. I just think it's a kind of cool comparison. Uh, that's a great knife, by the way, the Satori 2.0. So, yeah, I mean, those are kind of my thoughts right now on this knife. Uh, I'm really, really liking it. Uh, it's really been hard to get this out of my pocket, so I'm just kind of throwing something else in my back pocket. Um, and lately that has been this, and then I've been carrying the, uh, arc form slim foot here and I'm really liking this knife as well. Um, I'll probably do my first impressions on this right after I film, uh, this one right here. So another really cool knife. Um, but yeah, so this is the concept Pelican EDC in the plain titanium with the blue anodized hardware. S35VN, K Maxron design, and I'm going to keep carrying it. I'll probably take it apart and uh, maybe I'll get some footage to show you guys the internals, um, clean it out if I need to, and see if we can get it to be even smoother. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I almost don't want to take it apart because it's already so smooth. I don't want to mess it up. Um, but yeah, so I will follow up with a full review in a week or two. Um, usually takes me a little while to, you know, build up to a review because I want to make sure I am fully, you know, knowledgeable about the knife. Uh, if it's something that I'm carrying a lot, um, and kind of give my honest full review, not just how I feel after a week, you know, um, so I want that impression to be the one that lasts for me, at least going forward. And that kind of helps me decide, is it something that stays in the collection or something that moves on or that I use as a, you know, a kind of piece to uh, get something else. And right now this thing has uh, climbed up the ranks in terms of my favorites right now. So um, that's it, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. I hope you have a fantastic night and I will catch you later.